the worst thing someone has ever said. And then that is how you categorize that person for the rest of their life. You think that's fair? No. I've made mistakes before. You've probably made mistakes before. I'm not, I'm not my mistake. And you're not your mistake. Among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> When you first think of cancel culture, what do you think of? I think someone making a mistake. Well, the thing I think is really good about cancel culture is that it starts holding people accountable for things that they've done that aren't necessarily deemed acceptable anymore. I think that a big thing with us is information is not very fluid. People who are willing to learn, if you cancel them out, then there can't be any growth because it stunts the growth. Uh, why I think cancel culture is good is because it keeps people accountable. I feel like cancel culture is like the sort of punch back to bullying. Cancel culture is basically built on like the foundation that like if you make a mistake, you get canceled for it. And you know, we're human beings, so we're meant to make mistakes. Any known person and if they do something like even just a little bit wrong, then it's like considered canceled, like in my eyes and like of the general people as well. The worst thing someone has ever said. And then that is how you categorize that person for the rest of their life. You think that's fair? No, I've made mistakes before. You've probably made mistakes before. I'm not, I'm not my mistake. People make mistakes. You gotta, you know, and you gotta kind of let it go sometimes. It, I, th I feel like there's a difference. There's a big difference between like what is what someone should be canceled for and what someone should be like, okay, you made a mistake. You said something wrong. And maybe it's because you were not well informed enough. I think it's kind of unfair, the whole idea of it. People see a trend and then all of a sudden they kind of want to like jump on board with it and be like, wow, we need to like cancel that. I feel like cancel culture is healthy. and is very much a personal journey and you have to look back and you have to dissect things sometimes. I think what cancel culture does is it just ends up silencing a lot of controversial, harmful, prejudiced beliefs. If you were to have the ability to create sort of like an alternative to cancel culture, what would you think if you think an alternative would be necessary and what would that alternative sort of look like? Uh, you know, are, are the flaws that America Americans have is the unwillingness to like hear the other side, you know, no matter what it, what it may be, like just keeping that open mind is just something that I don't think we possess, you know? So unfortunately, I don't think that there really is another way to go about it unless, you know, we change who we are. And I don't know if that'll ever happen. We need to um, measure what is like actually like really bad and what is like not. Yeah, I think people should just explain if someone makes a mistake, they should explain to them the problem that they have with the mistake so they don't make it like in the future. We should be trying to change people's bad beliefs harmful beliefs, prejudiced beliefs. There is no alternative to it because it kind of subjective. I could be offended by something and you can be not offended by it. It's subjective. It's how much you want to let yourself get hurt by things. You know, just promoting change. I guess educating other people on what is right and what is wrong. Hearing people out and trying to put yourself in their situation. Times just aren't the same anymore. Like everybody's so sensitive about things nowadays. So I really don't know. Do you believe there's a main benefit or main disadvantage to cancel culture? It's bad, 
but like anything it has its good and its bad aspects to it the fact that people are at least holding people accountable like especially like with celebrities yeah i mean personally i think that cancel culture can be really good i mean i think that nowadays everyone needs to be responsible for their actions uh why i think cancel culture is good is because it keeps people accountable i feel like cancel culture is like the sort of punch back to bullying the thing i think is really good about cancel culture is that it starts holding people accountable for things that they've done. Um, but I think the negative part of cancel culture is, you know, sometimes we're not allowing people to grow as a person and we expect them to know everything. I would say like a benefit is kind of like, I guess, educating other people on what is right and what is wrong. In my position, like with this topic, um, I'm actually like, more on like the middle but more leaning towards like the anti-cancel culture with cancel culture there's this sort of confidence that has come in from what i've seen it's used it, in some cases it seems to be used to get at somebody and unfortunately it seems to only be used in one direction and that's you know coming from a leftist more liberal side to something more conservative side i always think of like cancel culture as like basically cyber bullying or like mentally or emotionally or verbally assassinating like someone's character like everything in life it can be both good and bad it's a stick with two sides to it a lot of people's natural reaction i find is to double down on that belief and go well i guess you can't talk about these things anymore you can't express an opinion that is against this sort of sort of like woke orthodoxy 